So let's move forward and take a look at a Galileo's implant planning. In this case, we took a 3D scan of our patient and planned for a 3i, 4 millimeter by roughly, say, 13 millimeter implant. We can see, as we normally expect, anterior teeth, the roots are tipped out to the buckle. So if we follow the socket, we will generally end up outside of the bone. So when replacing placing implants in immediately into anterior area, we have to lean and plan on our implant being placed to the palatal of the existing socket. And again, in taking a look at this plan, and let's take a closer view, we can see that we've done exactly this. By lengthening the implant beyond the length of the root, and by placing the implant more to the palatal, what this allows us to do is engage fresh apical palatal bone and gain primary stability in this case. So now from all of this data and all of this planning, we're able to order a surgical guide from CCAT uh, and the surgical guide arrives roughly seven business days later and it is based very accurately on this Galileo's planning.